Hello everyone and welcome back to Crashlands. My name's Tech Corsa and today I was trying to finish up gathering the stuff for our bad. But um one thing that it forgets to mention, the zeolite comes from Oops, go to data. Comes from tamed Gulantes. Of course, that doesn't mention it anywhere here either. I wouldn't know until I got one tamed. So yeah, that that was not a good um, time spent there. Let me grab my glazier again. Come with me. All right. So instead, we're going to be going for a prison break. Since that's the only other thing that I can do, and hopefully that allows me to get the next tier of, um, workstation. Because that's the real goal here, is getting that last tier of workstation. I'm also on the lookout for more of the, um, green crystalline biomes. Because I definitely still need, um, what was it called? A little orange thing. This one, the liquidon. Still on the lookout for that because I still need it in a couple of recipes. One in particular that I really want to get. So that's a thing. But anyways, I'm going to head towards the prison compound and I will meet you guys over there. Wow, they weren't kidding. Ango was not kidding when he said that um, there was a ton of blast crabs. I was hoping that I would get over here by like after morning but um apparently I didn't time that right um I need to open up my map oh god am I broken ooh yay 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 this stuff I need two more of it Now can I open my map? Awesome. Okay, good. And I have a telepad nearby. Whew. It's also one thing that I needed. A telepad. I also... Super zoom in and... Drop that point there so I can just walk through it. Be careful, Flux. Hugo likes to use powerful beasts to protect his fort. Well, joke's on you, I got healing potions. Booyah! Next warden. Looks like the west wing is open. Let's bust the out those Polari. Warden Whiplash. Ooh, this one's gonna be this one's gonna be a doozy. There's not enough room in that room. Alright. Come on, just there we go. Job. You saved us. Hugo Duco insulated this place to keep us from beatboxing. Uh, you've missed a lot then. There's a war on. Get back to the central pod guard and help Chica however you can. Thank you. We improvised a bomb for our escape, but never scrounged up the parts. Maybe the knowledge will be of use to you. Safe journey. We'll go free the Polari in the East Wing. Flash Fizzbang. Ooh, yay. Healing potions. <laughs> yes. Warden. Really? He really needs to work on names. This one's going to take a little bit longer. Not too much, though. 
Ow, it hit me. It hit me. Rejoin us at the Central Pod Guard. We're taking the fight to Hugo. Thank you, stranger. We owe you a great debt. Death before dishonor. All right, Juice Box. Let's meet up with everyone and see how Chica's plan is going. Awesome. Ooh, Harvest Bombs Mark V. I really need to use those. Okay. Let's get back to Chica. That was a really far way out. Ooh, and we also have a bunch of quests now. Hey, maybe we'll get a quest from Pow or Splish that'll give us the next tier of, um... Next tier of workstation. Flux! My pot has returned, and the Creepstone Guard are on standby. With our numbers back up, this might just work. Splish! We had a breakthrough! Pow nods excitingly. It should have been so clear all along, Flux. We figured out how to work Long's Delight. Build this forge. With it, you'll be able to craft some heavy duty armor that should give you an edge against the demon head. Come back to me once you get one installed in your home. I'm working on plans for a powerful Londosite weapon. Nice. That's what we wanted. Did you get this? Did you get to spring that surprise on Chica? Did she ever? I nearly beatboxed it to shreds, I was so surprised. <laughs> you should have seen Chica's face. The pod cakes were almost ruined, but we had a good time. It boosted morale plenty. Thanks, Splish. Sure thing. Hey, Flux, I've got another idea for something to keep this place from losing all of its warmth. Uh -huh. What's that? A surprise for you. I'll need a Glonty blowhole and some Wojak soap. Do I even want to know? Sounds weird, but I swear it'll be good. Get back to me when you've got them. Okay then. What are you going to do with all this freedom, Jugug? Didn't think I'd see mo any more days on the open ice after being in there. I'm thinking about, well, something shameful. Shameful? You just got out of prison. It can't be that bad. I got these pod cousins, Sika and Wapush. They, uh, they've been talking about... Not sure if I can tell you. We don't care. We're weirdos. Flux breaks the ice all the time and I'm a freaking robot. Fair point, I suppose. They're planning on starting a, a farm. Really? <laughs> this is shameful because... You aren't surprised? Polari are nomadic. We hunt and gather and set up temporary homesteads like this one along the way. It's been our way for as long as the songs go back. Where we come from, lots of people farm. People even farm in tiny pots in their rooms. That sounds like a bit far-fetched, but I want to see my pod cousin get the help they need. Even if it's for starting a, a farm. You think you could go there and see what they need? Sika said he found a great plot. Real gem out there in the wilds. Sure, we'll check on it. Farm anomaly? <laughs> ah, ah. The things I've seen, Finless. No Polari, Tindra, or Bruva should ever witness. I'm sorry, Jab. Anything we can do to help? Yes, there is. I need you to blind me. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> blind? Like, make your eyes stop working? Yes. Wh wh why? I wish to hone my beats, my melon sense. These eyes have seen much as it is, and with greater senses, I may be of use again. You'll still see the memories in your mind's eye, Jab. Those you can't burn out. Then they will give me renewed reason to hone my beats. Bring me one of those emerald hand torches. We'll see if that does the trick. Jeez, dude. The beats drumming on and on and on and on and on. Whoa, you alright there? Looks like Hugo did a number on this one. Sheesh. 
the calls from the deep. The Megalari grew louder. It wants me to dive deep. Dive, dive, dive. And stay down. All right there, puts. Is it? Let's back this up. What makes you feel better? This quiet. No beats. Tundra wind. No pool to the depths. Okay. And what helps you feel quiet? Bunions. Little two ears out of the soons. Snoons. Keeps me calm. Push the beats away. Always did. We gotta bring her a bunch of those things. Let's aim for 10 next time we're out. Maybe it'll help her recover. He came so fast. Nothing's meant to move that fast. Nothing, Finless. You okay, Wolo? This isn't my pod. Hugo Duco lasered all of my people. Just appeared and bomb into nothingness. He did it so fast. The rapidity, almost more disturbing than the damage. I want to make everything slow. Huh? It's all right, Wolo. You're safe here. Slower. The tides to cease, beats to crawl. More time to think, to act. I know how, Finless. If you help me, I will teach you. Uh -huh. This counts as some therapy in my book. What do you need? First, the nematocytes of the bog, throats, and the spines of our slurbs. Ten of each ought to do it. Well, that one should be quick. All right, well, we've got a full quest list again. So let's see. The cold, cold revenge we should be able to do very quickly. I don't know what the snoonas are, but it's apparently something that I gather. I'll have to look into that. Um, and I'll look and see if I can get the torch. I might not be able to, but first, oh man, so excited about all the new quests. First, I have to go make a factory. And before I could do that, I need to gather everything. I don't think I've done anything with the conjoined perps. But anyways, so let's see, what does the factory need? It needs more Gulani Calcite. So let's track that. I am really close on that one. Okay, and that won't take any time at all. <laughs> it runs pretty hot, but not very fast. You could probably beat it in a marathon or with a stick. Woohoo! Awesome. Let's see, what can I do with it? I can't make any of the armor yet. Creature Catalyst, Glazoo. It perfectly shapes the fit the mouth of a glazier and begins your glazier to epic size. Also a barbell for a lift. And brigands your lift epic size, okay. Also the fish bang. Gallium incubator and a gulanti incubator. I can finally make both of those. But I can't make the armor or weapon yet. But it's all gold. I can make feet or gloves. I can make the gloves though. Okay, so Splish said she had a surprise for me. What did I need for that? Wojak soap. Oh boy. Um, so this is one that I'm gonna have to grind for off camera. It's really close though. I need to go kill some Wojaks. Some sticky Wojaks. You know what? That won't take me very long. Hang on, Splish has another mission for us. Either that or we completed something. Oh, right. You've got the smell of molten londesite on you. We're stuck on this weapon design. We don't know enough about galantry parts. What do you need? We just need, oh, ten or so galantry chompers to do some experiments with. On it. 
Perfect. Pal, do your magic. Makes a series of complex fin motions. Nods, looks over the chomp, looks the chompers over, scratches his head, then draws a schematic. And boom, a weapon fit for heroes. It'll take me a while to smith enough of these for all of the Polari. Flux. These are the star beasts that broke the ice. They're with me. Brad, what's up? You've been looking for that laser jerk, right? Well, we managed to fix a receiver and then started getting some anomalous readings. We're almost positive that the giant ahead is up in low orbit around Wonope. Well, that complicates things. I don't suppose you have a spaceship just laying around, chicka? None of the people of Wonope have been to the stars. So, we just watched you go attack the planet? The Elder Stone may get you there. To open it requires noble representative, res, representatives, representative, blah, blah, blah. representatives of the Tendrum, Rubus, and Polari. Well, we already get you, Grammar, Amy Burl, and we know a Brubus who would help out. Ha! The Brubus help no one but themselves. There's no such thing as a noble Brubus. Trust me on this, Chica. There's one we can count on. His name is Choo Choo Choo. A Brubus by that name has already come through the Creepstone. The Pod Guard have not let him out of their sight. And Grammy is there too, right? Have the Pod Guard send them both to the Elder Stone, and we'll meet you all there. Well, that sounds like me going after Hugo Duco. I don't want to do that quite yet. Nods vigorously at you. I think I've got his signing figured out. Let me try this one. Pal makes several low blasts of noise and huge arcing motions with his fins. Ho <laughs> ho, I like this. Pal thinks he can make a bomb made of bombs. What? How? Apparently some clever binding used using that Londus light we've discovered. Pow nods vigorously, followed by sharp movements in three distinct areas. He needs a flash fizz bang, a slurry cane, and a pin cushion bomb. Let's procure those. Plays a series of images across his display. Chortles and claps. Oh, Flux, I wish you could tell what he was saying. Pow is hilarious. Vigorously does a jig from flipper to flipper. And he did it. One for us to test and the recipe. I can't wait to use these on some unsuspecting baddies. Thanks, Pow. Bows and sends a little beatbox in your direction. Yep, there it is. The big one. <laughs> Alright. Let's head back home really quick. Let's see. Can't make the armor yet, but we have the Lons Dax. Level 35 axe. It's heavy, awkward, pointy, and dangerous. Just like your ex spouse. <laughs> okay, so need to go kill Galliums and Galanti. Oh, I need to do that anyways. Alright, well I do want to um, finish up the quest that uh, Splish gave us so that she could give us a surprise. Okay, so we got the torch for the one guy who wants to blind himself. Let's see. We're working on the Wojak soap that Splish wants. Also looking to see if there's anything else that will be of use to me in my coming battles. Okay, got the Wojak soap. And got the hand torch. Awesome. Let's head back to the pod guard and collect on those two quests. Hey, maybe the surprise that Splish is going to give me is going to be armor. <laughs> all right, Splish, what's this all about? This, perhaps my greatest invention. One of the few things not designed to maim, dismember, or explode things. I kind of like this line of work, making people happy. 
Ha! <laughs> Never mind, explosions are too fun, but take this. You've earned it. And it'll make a good addition to your home, wherever it is. Aw, mm -hmm. thanks, Splish. A bubble machine. <laughs> we've, uh, we've got the torch. With this, I may become a blind boxer. Now, shove it in my face. Ah! Unfortunate. This light is not powerful enough. I suppose I could gouge my eyes with the horn. Sweet, Marla, no! Is there a brighter light source? I mean, blinding is one thing, but gouging? You could die. Fair point. Talk to Splish about her about acquiring a light. See if her expertise can help here. Make sure it is bright beyond the stars. Hey Splish, we need a really bright light. How bright? L like an ice quill sort of bright? Or like tides recede and my eyes disappeared sort of bright? The second one. Sweet, I'll need 10 ice quills and five electrus from those slurbs. Aren't you worried about what we'll do with a scorchingly bright light? Nope, your strange desires mean I get to build cool things. Psst, I think I'm getting a sense for why she was podless. All right, we'll bring those parts by. I think I almost have those. Let me go get a couple of extra of those. Those what you calls it from this guy. I think I need to make three. I don't know. I have to click on the first one and see how many that I have. And if I have enough, I'll cancel the other two. Five. I'll cancel the other two. <laughs> and I think I have an extra torch because that one didn't work. So, torch. Yeah. Equip. Salvage. Confirm. So now I have an even better light. At least it's not a purple one anymore. Purple one was kind of annoying. <laughs> Alright, let's head back to Splish. This should be good. I need to really stop hitting home to go to the central pod guard. That's like the fourth time that I've done it. Um... That was bound to happen. Just... Just... There. That's all I need to do. Just gotta get the reflection light and... Ba-boom! Don't point this at your face. Alright, let's get the searchlight built and then show it to Jab. On it! Wow. That's a bit expensive. But you know what? I'm gonna get it built before the end of this episode. All right, there we go. Now let's not hit home to go back to the central pod guard. Yeah, okay, because I need to get out of that habit. Keep doing it. Jeb, are you ready? I am. I will hone my beats, become a hunter of the unseen, and fill my pod with glory. Here it goes! Flashes jab directly in the eye holes. Ah, my sight! It fades! Is it staying gone? Indeed. The transformation is complete, Finless. Thank you. I know this was an uncomfortable task for you, sighted as you are. Please take these gifts as an honor from me. Let us know if you need help finding something. Ooh, more healing potions. Nice. And some harvest bombs, Mark 5. Double nice. Well, I figure this is a good spot to end this episode. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe for all my video updates. Gonna put a couple links over on the left for more videos you may enjoy. Thank you guys so very much for watching and have yourselves a very good day.